Hello, my name is Kieran Ironmonger, a technician here at Race Technology. This is a brief introduction to our pass by noise system we currently supply. We supply this system to major manufacturers and also certification houses for carrying out the pass by noise test. The pass by noise test is a procedure designed for manufacturers to check their vehicles comply with the sound emissions regulation. So inside the main unit, is our powerful and popular Speedbox Mini and underneath here is our DL1 data logger, battery pack and radio modem. On this side is a switch to turn it on and off, fuses and charger input. On the rear of the unit is the laser trigger for when used on a motorcycle and an external laser trigger is available for when used on a car. <clears throat> Same goes for the GPS antenna, it is bolted on top of the unit for when used on a motorcycle and an external antenna is available for when used on a car. <clears throat> on this side is the connection for the display port which shows the available data and also the results of the tests. Modem antenna and also the connections to receive the RPM data. OBD for the cars and direct connection for RPM or over the CAN bus on the motorcycles. There's also these eyelet bolts for quick and easy mounting. So for now just go on to the computer. The product can be found in our industrial section, products, Pass by noise. In this section, you'll find a detailed description, its key features, and also available options. If I just zoom into this diagram here, I'll explain how a typical test will work. The main unit is installed on the, on the vehicle, and the data is transmitted via radio modem to the base station. The data it will be transmitting is distance travelled, speed and RPM. Using this data, the base station will calculate the speed and RPM at the AA line, the PP line and the BB line. It will also output the maximum sound level during the test. A typical test requires the vehicle to accelerate at 100% throttle from the AA line to the BB line and achieve a target acceleration. It is also required for a typical test to achieve 50 kph at the PP line, plus or minus 1 kph. <clears throat> Due to this, it can take a little bit of practice to get it right. To help achieve it, the live monitor sends the test results back to the rider or driver so he, so he can decide whether to reduce or increase the entry speed or change gear to achieve the target acceleration. The software used to produce these results is the live monitor software. The live monitor software is broken down into four sections. The first section is the results. So all completed tests are saved in this section. The second section displays all available data currently being received over the, over the radio modem. The third section contains custom dials and graphs that can be configured to display any of the data being received over the radio modem. The fourth section displays any of the results. So if I click on a result, you can see speed and RPM at AA line, speed and RPM at PP line, speed and RPM at BB line. Also, maximum sound levels, and it is possible to have the weather the weather data and also the average acceleration achieved. Once these tests have been completed, you can copy and paste the data directly from this live monitor software into our calculation spreadsheet. This calculation spreadsheet allows you to copy and paste the data here and the results are automatically displayed in this section. Any red cells here are not within the required test conditions. And finally, if this cell is red, you're over the maximum allowed sound. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to the Pass By Noise system 
If you do have any further questions, please contact us via the website.